Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading for June 2021. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements. And this can be vice versa. So, what is the energy for Gemini's current connection for June? Or connections to come for Gemini. What's the energy for June? We have growth. Oh boy. The cards are not flying. Okay. <laughs> Spoke too soon. All right. First, we have growth. I feel like this is going to be a month of progress. Because here we have makeup, makeups and breakups, which tells me this could be a recent past or current situation. You and your person, you know, it's been on and off. But I see there being growth from that. So some of you could move into a more stable place with your person rather than being on and off. We also have mirroring this. I feel like this is telling me of where you guys are at right now with your person, both kind of mirroring each other we got grief and sadness so whatever you're doing this person's also doing it whatever they're doing you're doing it to each other okay let me see your spread for june what's going on with gemini for the month of june what can gemini expect in their love life for june we have the Hermit and the Devil. Virgo and Capricorn energy. Let me see. So we have um, the moon in reverse. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Cancer energy again. Some of you are keeping your feelings for your person a secret. Uh, you, you could be keeping your feelings a secret with the moon being here in reverse. Or you could be keeping a secret from your person. It could be vice versa. But the moon is in your position of emotions. We also have the Queen of Cups here as your overall energy. So there's something going on with you emotionally. Something you're keeping under wraps. Your person wants to come out of conflicts with you. They have the Five of Wands in reverse. However, when it comes to their emotions, they're not really, they're not really pushing forward emotionally. Uh, tongue tied they're not really pushing forward emotionally they do want to come out of conflict but i feel like they're taking it one step at a time so they're not putting all their emotions in this just yet not that they don't have feelings for you but they might be just keeping their emotions under control until you guys come out of conflict they're seeing you as the king of wands in reverse they're seeing you as being on the defense being upset with them not in the best mood is how they're seeing you but i see you being open to speak to this person but are you open to express this secret you have the page of pentacles you also i mean you, you're seeing this person wanting to end the conflict because you got you're seeing them as a five of swords in reverse maybe in june you'll start to see that they actually do want to come out of conflict with you some of you may see that now like maybe they've been trying to you know talk sorry my table is squeaky it's annoying okay so we have the knight of pentacles in reverse this means that things may have been at a standstill for some time or even currently and it's gonna that's gonna change it's gonna pick up but what's blocking right now is the emotional distance some of you you are not expressing your feelings to your person Maybe not to the full extent, because there's this emotional distance and on your side, you've got the moon in reverse. So maybe you, you have feelings for this person, but you're not letting them know. 
or you're not actually pouring it out to them you know not allowing them to feel it maybe you're upset with them i don't know maybe it will come out in this deck over here let's see but you got the magician in reverse for some reason the first message i'm getting from this is that you may give up control like you may kind of surrender and just agree to make up with this person um at some point let me see what's going on here why is the moon in reverse for gemini why the moon in reverse in reverse five of pentacles in reverse okay another page i feel like the, you see because you're a gemini and you like to speak you're having a hard time um holding something in or it may be that you just won't hold this in for much longer um i see you wanting to come out of the cold like wanting this to one in there to not be separation for much longer very soon but you're not taking that leap you're being mysterious you're kind of i mean you know what i've seen in my head that hermit card that came out earlier some of you may be in the hermit mode you got the recipe for it the moon and the eight of cups so some of you are just like very mysterious when it comes to your emotions right now Especially those of you who have moon in Gemini. Um, I don't know why I keep seeing Gemini, like the words Gemini moon in my head. Not that this isn't for sun Gemini and rising Gemini and Venus, but when it comes to the emotional part, the hiding of emotions, I'm seeing Gemini moon. Maybe, is it because it's the moon card? I don't even know. why why is this happening why am i seeing things this way gemini moon in particular has the emotional situation going on the emotional secrets um the not wanting to reveal the emotions here so why are the five of swords in reverse why is there a card here four of swords Five of Cups, is, all the fives are coming out. Okay, yeah. You see, you're seeing your, either right now or very soon, you'll be seeing this person as kind of sorry. Like, they're, they're going to be looking sorry to you. It's going to be very clear to you, if it isn't already, that this person wants to come out of conflict with you, that they're sad, that they've, they feel like they've lost you, and they, they're sorry is what you're going to start seeing like you'll see evidence of it it won't just be them saying it you'll kind of see it in their actions or even in their face if you see them in person um the ten of swords in reverse you are you're gonna something's gonna let you know that this person does not want this relationship to end so this whole makeup i've been drawn to the breakups and makeups card this person is like they're getting tired of the whole makeup and breakup and they may want to stop having to go through that but you're seeing this as being quite imbalanced maybe they didn't put in as much effort as you did why the chariot in reverse yep the world in reverse they don't want this to be over they're gonna be hanging around here. There's a lot of passion. They're not letting go. This person is not letting go, but they're not um they're not gonna show this, like they're not gonna show much emotion until oh now I get it. They're not gonna show much emotion until they feel like you guys are coming out of conflict. That's why you guys are mirroring each other because you have the moon hidden emotions and they're doing the same you are doing it though but i feel like they they're just doing it to mirror you 
they're just doing it because you're doing it because i see here someone who wants to come out of conflict but they're not pushing their emotions forward because you're not if you were then they would feel comfortable to do so but let me see it looks like with the four swords you guys are just currently on a break doing a lot of contemplating why the magician in reverse why the magician in reverse? Oh boy. Pride. This is all about, like, both of you are on this whole thing where you both want to be in control. I feel like it's to do with the emotion aspect. Neither one of you likes to feel like you're not in control of your emotions, which is normal. But this feeling of I don't have full control has both of you in this closed off position. This devil in reverse though. Oh my God, why does this happen? Why is it like this? Hold on. What's the near future for Gemini? Near future energy. For some of you, okay, I get the message. We got King of Cups. I get the message that even after this um, separation, there might be one more breakup between you guys, one more period of separation before you guys actually grow and stop doing that back and forth i'm also getting the message that some of you may leave this relationship for good but others of you who don't it may become like more stable i'm seeing that with the three of swords it's like this time around you guys don't fully get to work things out because you're still both closed off and kind of look at looking at each other with caution but then after that there's a period of growth but this is like two people just looking at each other like, is it safe? Am I gonna get hurt? Can I trust you? But this type of energy is leaving slowly, this toxic energy, the devil. I get the feeling that, uh, something, I get the feeling that some of you, something is gonna make each of you kind of realize that there actually is trust or that there actually is a reason to trust and i feel like it has to do with the the length of time that you guys have been dealing with each other you know it's like okay we've come this far type of thing that makes you guys say okay let's do things differently what are the love messages for gemini This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So it's like this does get to a higher level, but I feel like there might be one more mishap first it may link to this moon i'm being drawn to this moon maybe this person because you don't reveal your emotions they just don't feel that they just don't feel it yet like you guys are there's too much caution both of you are doing this to each other being too cautious um, we have free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so there's that separation again where you kind of pull away again and it's because you felt like or you start to feel like you don't have control and you need to regain the control and that's both of you's issue you both want to have control but you don't trust each other this really needs to be a balance, like equal. What did I just hear in my head? You know what I just heard? 
you know when like someone has something that belongs to you so you take something that belongs to them and then you say if you want it back you have to give me back my thing and you're like okay let's exchange at the same time that's why <laughs> That's what I just heard in my mind or like kind of remembered from, I guess, like childhood days where you, where you used to do that. Um, it's that lack of trust, like same time, let's do it at the same time. And you both kind of don't trust each other right now. But something may happen in the near future that makes you guys think, OK, I guess we can trust each other like soon. But right now it's just like that, that suspicion that tension can i trust you is what i'm seeing so let me see what's the advice for gemini for june what's the advice for gemini prosperity lies ahead taurus energy it could be dealing with the taurus and you're very close to achieving your goal you see you guys are very close to getting to the next level it's just trust expect powerful change this connects with the growth card i feel like there's just going to be growth with growth and and engagement ascending changing improving getting better we have a personal issue reaches resolution could be dealing with a cancer there's a lot of cancer energy here some of you may be dealing with someone with cancer in the chart or you have cancer in your chart, but that would add to, you know, not trusting each other, being cautious. Cancer is very cautious. We have Libra, Capricorn as well. Who else? That's it. Libra, Capricorn, Cancer. But there's love here. There's just a little bit of a lack of trust. That's it because you don't because because there's secrets i guess you you guys need to stop keeping secrets from each other be 100 percent open so that you can realize that you can trust each other like uh you two against the world type of relationship is what you guys need real trust all right so gemini this is what i'm seeing for you Check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect in June. I hope this was helpful. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.